first of all, let me thank you for inviting us to be part of this event. The African Union believes that the youth is the future of Africa. And our theme for this year is harnessing the demographic dividend. You know, Africa is a continent with the largest number of young people. Now, what you have is that this could either be an opportunity or a crisis. If you have young people, desperate, full of energy, uneducated, untrained, this could be a crisis. But if you have young people, educated, trained with skills, proud African youth, this is a great opportunity for Africa. What we want is to make this occasion an opportunity for Africa. So our theme for this year, deriving from the harnessing demographic dividend, is to make education, education, education. We want every African child to be in school by 2020. Now, we're not talking about some African children or others. We want every African child to be in school by 2020. If we do that, we can create a literate and a numerate Africa. An Africa where every child, every young person can read and write, has a developed culture. Now, that will be the basis, the beginning, and the foundation for the industrialization that we want. We want an Africa where we are no longer selling primary products. We want an Africa where we are processing goods. We are processing products. We are industrializing. Now, what is industrialization? Industrialization is science and technology in the service of production. Now, without education, you can forget about science and technology. You can forget about processing. You can forget about industrialization. So we believe that the foundation is to have every African child in school before 2020. Now, I live in a country where education was free and compulsory for everybody. And this country suffered an embargo from the United States. But in spite of this, because of the foundation of education, they were able to develop a scientific and educational culture, a culture where everybody is flowering. Two weeks ago, we were in China. In China, 1949, China stood up. You know, China, like Africa, had been invaded over years. They had people coming to attack them just for the opportunity to sell them opium. In 1949, when the Chinese Revolution under Mao Zedong broke out, Mao said China stood up. They went through a cultural revolution they had every Chinese child in school. Now we have a China where one billion people have been pulled out of poverty. Now, the experience of China and the experience of Africa are similar. In Ghana, some time ago, we had a president who was very progressive and had a free and compulsory education for everybody. In the North, where the British used them as fodder and prevented them from going to, to school, Kwame Nkrumah paid parents to send their children to school. They gave them extra allowances. People were paid money to study science and technology. Now, this is what has brought this country together. Education and boarding schools. People now begin to live together. And if Ghana has not had any of these civil wars that we've had in other countries, we have come to, to thank for this science and technology for everybody that we were put through. But unfortunately, this was broken. But now, he tries to do it. We are trying to do it for the rest of Africa. Kwame Nkrumah dreamt, wept, and slept Africa. He even married an Egyptian woman to bridge the gap between Sub-Saharan Africa and Arab Africa. Everything about him was politics. And in Ghana now, we revere Kwame Nkrumah. We even have a statue of his in Addis Ababa. And that was done when I was there as ambassador. Now, on the, on, the, on the ground, we quoted from his speech at the AU, at the OAU, the first inaugural speech. And he ended it by saying, 
Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia shall stretch forth a hand unto God, and Africa must unite. So in Ghana now, we may criticize each other, but we have a democratic culture, and people talk, and anybody can talk. What we have to do now is to add total education for everybody. You will not have a situation where people will cross the Sahara on foot, get drowned in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea, trying to go to Europe, seeking a non-existent El Dorado. The opportunity we have is right under our feet here in Ghana. And if we have education for everybody, health, scientific education, democratic governance, the future is yours, and we join you and urge you to take your education seriously. If your education, you can be enlightened, you can vote out governments that you don't want, you have the power in your hands. Power to you. Thank you very much.